So in this video, we are going to be upgrading the CR6SE to a dual extruder setup, which is actually quite easy. But um, one thing you shouldn't do is, you know, the BMG extruders, the, I'll put a pit, picture of it up here. Um, but yeah, basically you can't use this type of extruder. It just doesn't work. It doesn't fit. It kind of hits the Z screw. So the first thing we're going to do is start by basically pulling out the Bowden tube and then we're going to go and remove the filament run out sensor. It's a pretty easy process. It's just two screws. Once you get that off, so if you don't drop the screws like I did, you can move on to taking off the extruder. Um, there's, I think it was two screws, uh, one at the lever and then one at the back right. You just want to take the two of those off. Should only take a couple of minutes. After you get those out, you can just lift the top cover. Do not drop everything like I did again. I swear to God. Once you get the once you get the cover off, there's three screws there that you just need to take off. One at the back left, and two up the front. Um, I had some problem with one of them being uh, basically the head was gone off and I couldn't get it out no matter what I tried. So I had to improvise with that. So after some light DIY, I was able to get all the rest of the screws out and uh, yeah, we were able to move on. Uh, so once we get the this base off, I guess you could call it, uh, the more, just be careful to hold the more and don't let it fall because that's probably what I did. Oh no, I was able to hold on to it, never mind. <laughs> now we're just going to remove the gear from the old extruder, the stock one. So it's just held in there with a grub screw on the flat side of the shaft. You just unscrew it and it should slide off, no problem. So now that we have the stock extruder pretty much disassembled, we can start getting the, the new dual gear extruder out of the bag and just get it ready to be put on. So you can see here, this is the new gear uh, that we're gonna be installing on the shaft. So we just wanna slide it down. You can see in this video, I left it a bit low. You actually want it pretty much flush with the top of the shaft. Um, yeah, that was, I, I read somewhere that you need to leave it four and a half millimeters. That's not right at all. You wanna leave it just flush with the top of the shaft and you want to make sure that the gearing part is facing down towards the actual stepper motor and not up towards the sky, basically. So now that we have the gear installed, we can basically go ahead and install the base. And uh, the only really advice I can give you here is to ensure that the countersunk screw is in the counter is in the countersunk hole. So if you can see the one here, the screw here on the right, you can see how it sits flush with the base. You just want to make sure that's in there. It just gives clearance for the lever when the lever is attached. So now that our base is attached, we're gonna use this screw to basically just screw it in here to the side of the base. This kind of gives a mounting position for the spring that we're gonna use. Uh, basically it attaches to this screw and then it attaches on the other side to the lever. So this is the other screw that you can see here, this on the lever. Um, it basically is the other mounting point for the spring. So we're just gonna go ahead and just Try to put this on here now. We're putting this the sleeve. The screw sits. The long screw sits into that sleeve when you're just bolting it down. And you see here, I'm just applying pressure on the spring as I'm tightening and dropping things as per usual. This is the mount for our filament runout sensor. Uh, our runout sensor will basically sit on top of this and it'll keep it level with the dual gear extruder. Um, so you just use the same two holes uh, for mounting. Uh, one in the front, one in the back. It is kind of hard to line it up. Um, and oh, make sure you plug back in your filament rod sensor. I swear I had did that the first time. And then you plug back in your Bowden tube and you're ready to go. Ready to start printing.